Hello lovelies. This is Annette of AnnetteLeonard.com back with another moment for chronic wellness and continuing our conversation about lung disease and managing life on supplemental oxygen. I will tell you that this was a cannula game changer for me. So first of all, I am not a terribly fidgety sleeper. Like I can go to sleep like this and still wake up sort of like this. <laughs> okay, I don't actually cross my arms like I'm in a casket, but I can just go to sleep in a position and still be in that position in the morning. So it's not as though I'm having a fight with my bed sheets every night. And sleeping with a cannula is tricky like does it go above the covers does it go below the covers does it get tangled in the covers <laughs> and even if you just roll over once in the night it can be problematic it can wake you up it can be pulling against your face and so um somebody once told me hey if you have a headboard put it back over your head and thread it over the headboard and it was like ding 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 game changer and I suspect that even if you don't have a headboard, this can work. Although having slept at hotels and having tried this, it's much easier if you have just sort of like a little place behind you. Even if you hung up like a command hook, I think it would make it easier. So let me just demonstrate. If you take the cannula and you put it back over your head, the, and you know they have these little do lollies and you cinch it up against you, and now it's behind you and completely out of the bed. So then you're not having any of that question of above the covers, below the covers, in here with me getting tangled up when I turn around. You can sleep on your side, you can sleep on your back, you can twist all around, and yes, it's gonna make your hair look super funny and do some wackadoodle things back there, but in general, this has saved me and made it so much more possible to keep my cannula on at night, to not wake up gasping for air and wondering where my cannula is, and to even just realize that wearing the cannula in the behind the head position is possible even not at night. So if there are times, for example, when I'm doing a task like chopping vegetables and it's getting in the way of me seeing or getting in the way of me doing something in front of me and I can remember, oh yeah, this sucker can go down my back rather than over my front um, is a useful thing to remember. So a final cannula tip for you. I hope this has been helpful for those of you, my brethren who are out there using supplemental oxygen to get by the, let me know what you think. Let me know what other questions, concerns, um, ideas you have. Let's populate the world with our good ideas about how to survive with lung disease, with supplemental oxygen. And thank you for tuning in. I'm so grateful for you being here. And until we're together again, the, whether or not our bodies are healthy, I hope that we are finding ways to keep our spirits well.